morning everyone, how you going? And the doggo's out, just had their walk, so they're all nice and tired, hopefully. You tired? No, not yet. Anyway, what we're doing today is gathering some parts. Um, I'll probably keep this video going, but I'm probably not going to do the service on... So this is this little, just an oil change or brake fluid and all sorts of stuff on the i20. Um, on the on the um, the Hyundai that we got, um, it's not here at the moment because Miss is going to work, so um, she'll be back soon. But I've kind of um, I've got a picture of a VIN um, seventy seven thousand K. She's got on it. It was due for an all change at seventy five. I forgot all about it. I thought it was due at eighty. Um, that's why we've been hanging around. Um, little car like that's probably not a big issue, so no dramas there. Um, the oil I've already got, I bought it a while ago because it was on special when we were at Super Cheap one day. And the, yeah, so I've already got oil that's in the garage. I'm not going to go and dig that out, so I know I've already got it. Um, I've already got brake fluid. These are both, pretty sure, yeah, both unopened. Uh, definitely don't want to um, store brake fluid if it's opened. Um, it, it's gonna then react the same as if it was in the car really um, I don't I don't it's cheap it's like ten dollars a bottle so just make sure you buy new stuff um, I got an air filter but uh, this, sorry this is a cabin air filter when you buy these they come in a pack or two um, so I replaced that we bought the car at 64,000 so the, the the air filter that's in there the cabin air filter is only done like t just over 10,000 case so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna replace that that'll get done probably at the next one so i'm doing this one at 77 um i'm going to stretch this one out for 13,000 k's as you can see here so it got done at 60 before we bought it oil filter front and rear pads and then at 64 when we bought it i did all that and then not long ago i did the um brake calipers and brake rotors and it got new tyres as well, actually. So yeah, I should write that down. That was that was probably at about seventy-three thousand k's. I'll probably have to just fill in a thing here. Um, I just put it here anyway. Um, but now at seventy-seven, it's going to get oil or filter. It's going to get um, trans fluid, uh, new trans fluid, new coolant, which I've already got as well. That's down in the in the shed. Ah, uh, sorry, in the garage. Uh, brake fluid. It's going to get the works. Um, the air filter only just got done at 64, so there's no point doing it again at 77, so that's okay. So the only thing I need to buy, I've got everything really, is an oil filter for the, for the, we call it Eileen, because it's an I-20. So that's her name. Um, so yeah, all I need for that is an oil filter. Um, pretty sure that's it, yeah. I've, I've looked through the um, manual in the car, and th this is all we need. Um, I'll put iridium spark plugs in it at 64, so they're they're going to be in there for the life of the car pretty much those iridiums they last like a hundred thousand k's or something so at like a hundred and sixty thousand or a hundred and fifty thousand i'll probably chuck another set of spark plugs in so um if we still have the car at that point um all good so that's that's all we need for that so i will keep say so two liters of that that's what you need um i don't know how much brake fluid i'm going to go through um, I've also never done brakes on my own my dad's always been here he's a mechanic so he's always been here um, when I've done it Only due to the fact that I'm in there pumping and he's the one doing the bleeding. I've never actually bled brakes before so um, But I do have that um, That machine that I showed It's in here if you didn't see the other video probably hasn't come out yet But they come out in order is the brake bleeding thing that you hook up to um, compressed air and yeah, so I do have a thing to do it on my own. I've just never done it because Dad's always been here to do it, so it's all good. And then while we're out as well, so we're going to go to Super Cheap and get all this because they're pretty good prices. Um, then I'm also going to get um, some stuff for the Nissan because it's three thousand. I wanted to do the service. I was going to do it at five thousand. Um, came across a guy on YouTube, the Oil Geek or something like that, and he's like, "No, nah, don't leave. Don't ever leave your oil in for that long." Uh, your first oil, you, you know, when the car's brand new, brand new engine. He was actually saying you should try and change it at 500 to 1,000 miles, uh, which is kind of where I'm at now in kilometres. So I'm at just under, I'm at like 2,600 or something like that kilometres. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. He goes, that's that's kind of when the most amount of wear happens um, because of all the particulates in the oil and stuff like that. So Nissan didn't want to see it until 10,000 k. So they want me to do 
10,000 Ks on the oil that came in the car from brand new and that that wasn't going to happen. I was going to do it at 5,000 um, but after watching this guy um, I'm at 3,000 now so it's it's going to happen maybe today if I can get all these parts. So um, this video is either going to be about the Nissan getting an oil change today or the i20 getting an oil change next week <laughs> so I'm not even sure yet. Um, so the only thing I do need is a is oil. I've kind of settled I was going to get um, Liqui Moly, uh, I can't remember what it was called now, it was in a green bottle, um, 100 bucks, not on special at the moment, hard to get, can only get it from Super Cheap I think, and Auto Barn, um, so I've, I've decided I'm going to go Neulon, Apex Plus, which is like their best oil, 540, 40 gives me that um, running in hot weather, uh, 6 litre, and the main reason I'm going to Neulon is you can buy it in six liters. Uh, the other uh, liquid Molly only came in five liter um, bottles. I'd, I'd have to buy two of them, so that's two hundred dollars on oil. Whereas um, Neulon comes in six liter. They can actually come five, six, and seven liter, which is really handy. So um, yeah, they six liter, and it's only eighty five dollars at the moment at Auto Barn. Like I said, I'm going to go to Super Cheap. They price match, so I'll go to Super Cheap get everything because. Everything else is cheaper at Super Cheap, the, the filters and all that. Um, and hopefully they price match. If not, Auto Barn is literally like walking distance from Super Cheap to Thingy, so I'll just do that. So all good. Um, now, I did say in another video that I, I did order an oil filter. It's actually off a GDR Skyline. For my car, it still fits. It's just bigger. That's all it is. There's nothing special about it. It's just a bigger filter. So it's got more filtration media in it. Um, doesn't filter any better. Um, it's like I said it's bigger and they mainly use them on the skyline because it holds more oil and they also use them on Navaras and all that kind like the big trucks SUVs and things so yeah there's nothing sporty about it it's just physically a bigger filter so I've ordered one there's none in Australia um, I've got one coming from Amazon I think it's coming from the US but it's not going to be here to the end of the month and I don't want to wait that long to do an oil change on the Z um, so we're going to go to super cheap see if they've got a filter if they don't i'll jump in the car i'll ring up auto barn i've got the i've got the, the part number here the original nissan part number uh ring up auto barn or go to auto barn see if they've got it if they don't then we're going to have to go kind of crisscross back past my place and go to nissan in wangara and they've got them because i spoke to him yesterday and he said he's got heaps of them in stock of the standard filter so what i'll do is i'll put the standard filter in at three thousand and then at 10,000, I'll do another oil change. So new, new, uh, put new line in and the filter that I'm getting off Amazon, the big one. Um, so yeah, all good. And yeah, six, it's six point, oh, sorry, 5.3 liters for an oil change in my car in the Z and you can buy a six liter. So that's really good. Cause otherwise if you, yeah, that, so that's the main reason that made me flick over to new line is that I don't have to buy 10 liters of oil to only use 0 0.3 or 300 mils out of one of the five liter and then ha that thing's not going to boil in oil i don't think if they don't burn oil so i'm just going to have this oil sitting around for like over a year before i need to service it again and i don't want that i'd rather have uh, i'm sure Newlon's just it meets all the same standards it actually exceeds one of them than the liquid molly does um but yeah if you're if you're going to keep the oil in for 20, 15 to 20,000 kilometres, then yeah, definitely splash out, get the better oil. But I'm not. I'm going to be changing it every year, um, regardless of kilometres, because I'm never going to do more than 10,000 k's. So there's no need to have the top, top notch oil in there. It's As long as it's a really good oil, meets what Nissan wants, um, doesn't have to be hundreds, hundreds of dollars oil. Um, it can be the $80 oil because I'm going to be changing it frequently. So, all good. So, we'll jump in the Z. Um, haven't driven that for a while. Hopefully, the dash cam sticks to the windscreen. Uh, watch the previous video if you didn't know that saga. But, yeah, it's it's been on and off about six, seven times. But, anyway, uh, that's not for this video. So, yeah, that's my shopping list. So, it's literally oil and filter for the Z and an oil filter for the i20, um, which I, I've got the VIN in my... Um, I should put, see how I've got it here, I've got VIN number, engine number, I should do that for the i20 as well, but like I said, it's not here, so there's not much I can do. But anyway, let's jump in the car, and we'll head down to the shops.
think it's going to hit. It's going to hit the spoiler. All right, bet you're wondering how I did that. <laughs> oh, what a mission. Okay, so uh, it clears the gray bit, but it hits this. This this is just like a rubber. So flexible, does what it's meant to do. Uh, you'll know you hit something because it does make a noise, but it's not gonna break or anything. So uh, that's what it was hitting. Um, so all I did was get my jack, jack it up in the proper jack point. Um, even jacking it up from the front jack point, the car's so stiff and small, uh, it lifted the back tire up as well. So, not as much as the front, but anyway, I've got, I've got enough clearance. Um, I couldn't use jack stands because that's where the jack was. So, I just use them. So, that's what I'll do in the reverse. I'll just jack it up, rip those ramps out, and then put it down one wheel at a time. I'm pretty sure you can't jack it up from the middle anywhere. Um, I wouldn't want to start risking that. Uh, I had to take all the crap out, and I've got my toolbox right here. It'd probably get over this, but then it's not going to get through here. So, I'll just leave it there. That's fine where it is. Um, so I'm just getting a few things ready. Uh, don't need any more out of that. Hopefully won't need drill bits. Things are going wrong if we need drill bits. Um, we need that. And that's it. So I've got... Oh, sorry, don't need that. That was for doing... Um, that's for doing uh, brake, brake fluid, which we're not doing just yet. Um, brake fluid's like every 20,000. Um, so yeah, this is the sucker to get the rest of that oil out. And I figured out, I tried using it like that, and um, wouldn't work. You, you actually have to have it. I suppose that's how it creates its suction. But yeah, that's how it creates its suction. Uh, you have to have the bottle on. Um, all good. And then um, that's my new... Um, oil filler thing, so we will use that. And coffee, definitely need coffee. All right, so, oh, and so the oil I ended up getting was the one I was talking about. Six liters. Apparently, this car takes 5.3, 540 Apex Plus. So we'll see how we go. And some generic crush washers. Uh, they look very similar to the Nissan ones. I don't know if they're the right size though. That's the only thing. So if these aren't the right size, I'm going to reuse the one that's on there. It's coming off again in um, it's coming off again in um, 7,000 k's anyway, so no worries. Oh, and K&N K&N filter, um, not really. I didn't buy it because it's a K&N. It's just the one that they had. It's very small, um, so I'm glad I'm getting that bigger one from Amazon uh, when that gets here. Uh, important to clean these threads out because sometimes there's shavings from when they um, thread it. So. Um, just uh, we'll give it a blowout with a compressor um, and that's it what's it written there must be the date product of USA yeah but anyway they are good filters um, 20 24 dollars I think the filter was oil was 85 four bucks for the two crush washers so two dollars a crush washer and that's it all, all done so the dealers trying to charge you I think I got a quote it was like 350 dollars or something 400 bucks and I'll do, I'll do it for a, less than a hundred, less than a hundred. Uh, uh, bang on a hundred pretty much, including the cross, what, cr crush washers and half an hour, half an hour of your time. So too easy. So um, first things first, we're uh, gonna suss out uh, drain plug size, uh, just what, what um, spanner we need. And we'll go from there. And then I've also got everything written here in preparation, so Oh, it's an M12. Oil drain plug is an M12. Okay, so 12 mil. And it, that's its torque setting. And the oil filter is 18 newton meters. Oil drain plug's 35 newton meters. So I'll get my torque wrench and a, and a 12 mil. And that should be the only tool that we need, um, really. So. 
Okay, I really don't know what you guys are going to be able to see here. Uh, but it's the first, first time for all of us, because I've never seen under one of these. So, <coughs> I assume don't undo that drain plug, because that, that is the, uh, what's the name? That, that'll be the transmission. Um, I've seen, I've seen some, I've heard of people doing that before. Oh well, this is an adventure, that's for sure. I'm, I'm pretty certain it's going to be under here. Um, I'm going to watch a quick video. I, I have watched one, but it was before I even got the car, so um, I didn't pay attention to absolutely everything, which I should have done. But I'm, I'm pretty certain it's going to be. Oh, that's all one. Okay, so we might have to drop, drop this. And you think they put a, a service port so you don't have to undo 10, 15 screws? Uh, but anyway, let's just see if that's an M12. I'll get my zippy gun. No, it's a 10mm. Alright, I'll back soon. Alright, in business. Again, I can't see the camera, so hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, oil filter's just here, a little bit hot, but that's okay. Drain plug, actually I'll put you on this side actually, because that's where all the action is. Yep, won't go funny for a bit. So there was a heap of screws, I'm not even going to count them. Uh, you're way too close there. Yeah, uh, yeah it, I'm pressed for space big time under here. But uh, let's put you back here. I think that'll be okay. Probably not best to see everything, but the, the fuel filter's kind of hidden. That's your drain plug. That So that cover had to come off, and it's massive. And then, I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there's sixteen bloody screws holding on that stupid bit of plastic, and there's also three clips that you need a, a flat bladed screwdriver to pop pop them out and then they fall out uh, they go here I think one two three yeah yeah I think they were there it's like a little bit of galvanized steel from Bunnings anyway oh it even tells you there you go torque 30 to 37 Newton meters so that's pretty handy and it is plastic and um, if next time I'll think about the I didn't I, I didn't know any of this but next time what I'll do is I'll get a, a block of wood and make it higher on the left hand tire so that the car's tilted uh, this way down and then that way the oil will all, it's the oil pan, the drain plug's here so yeah you kind of want it higher on the left hand passenger side there so that it drains down to, to there but anyway that's okay and then I think I did bring a 14mm the man on the computer there said 14mm yep um, it's not going to be super tight oh yeah, shit it is okay I might need a bigger, a bigger spanner. This one's probably. Oh wow! Yeah, that's that's tight. I don't want to slip and rip my fingers open. Um, I'll get this draining anyway. Yeah, so that's what they were saying. There, there's not a lot of room between this um, brace here and the oil filter. So, but they re they still reckon that longer one off the GDR fits in. So we'll see. The one I've got now is this size. So that's okay. All right, I'll, I'll, um, I'm going to need my torque wrench, I think, to undo that safely. Um, I don't want to slip and be blood knuckles everywhere. And I've got to undo the um, the filler nozzle up the top there, just so it doesn't glug out. It drains a bit quicker. Um, the good thing, the good thing about all these 16 bolts is that they're the same, so you, you don't have to lay them out in any specific order. They're, they're all exactly the same. So I'll just pile them up so I don't lose them over there. And then the three clips, uh, like that. And then I don't think you need the screwdriver to put them back on. That 14mm is no good. Definitely you need a, a zippy gun with 10mm. Um, yeah, it'll take forever, otherwise I'll put that out of the way. Um, my ratcheting spanner 14mm is only a little shorty one, and it's not giving me enough purchase to or leverage. So I'll go and get, oh, here's another one. So it's probably 17 now. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then another thing I was going to check while I'm here is I have two oil filter. Um, so that way towards the front of the car. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's turning. That's good. So that's let's not put on with a rattle gun. Yep, cool. All right, so that works. I don't think this one's going to be too big. Yeah, they're tiny little law filters. Just want to nah, see that. That's too big. This one, so that wouldn't even tighten. So it is. You need the smaller, the smaller oil filter thingy. Uh, anyway, we got torque wrench. Oh, there we go. Easy. Just needed it to be cracked. Yep. Cool. Okay. Oh, we gotta get up again. Hang on. So we'll leave that till we need to tighten it. And then we'll probably move some of this stuff out of the way. Because it's gonna go that way. Right there, catch everything. So I've got the little drain bung out, that's tight, and that's tight. But I'll just I'll just leave it loose so it can vent through. Let's see how dirty I get. I forgot a rag. I'm not dead. This is going to be water. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh, she's bubbling. So you take that off and then it doesn't bubble. Alright, I'll get a rag. Um, be good if. I don't think that drains in there. But that's okay, I'll leave it there. Okay, there we go. So we'll just leave this for a bit. That's cool. Oh, it's almost done. Yeah, it's so thin. You can, you can. Look at that. It's like dripping like water. It's quite warm. Oh, yeah, it is quite warm. Can't, can't quite hit my finger there. So it's about 70 degrees or so. Dinky little, tiny oil pan. It's like two of my hands. Yeah. Everything's very small on this car, but anyway. Um, now this should come off. And then this is going to make more mess. Um, might wait until this is almost finished. Only because... Oh! Where'd that oil come from? That was a lot of oil there. It must have happened from the start. I just can't undo the um unless I just put it. gonna drip yeah that should make it I just don't want it to drip high uh, more than what my uh, oil pan can stretch I think I'm, I'm gonna have to get a new, a new different one of these there's just not enough you're barely moving it not that you have to move it a lot there we go it's by hand now so if I can come from the there we go. Oh, that is so annoying, this thin oil. Pretty sure that got in my mouth. Yeah, it's just dripping everywhere. Oh, man. Yeah, that's gross. I don't think 540 is going to be much different. Anyway. So, I'll get back to you once this is finished dripping. Um, and then we'll suck out the rest out of the sump and see what comes see what comes with it Okay, so we got um, Just got to try and figure out how to get this. Oh, there we go So you can see that crush washer is done um, well, It's flat anyway, you can probably reuse it, but it's not worth it I'm Pretty sure the ones I've got might be lucky here. Yep I was taking a guess Perfect. 
so you can see the difference maybe not but you can see how thin that one is and how thick that one is and then when you tighten it they fold uh, that's why they've given you that torque spec there and it'll fold and seal nicely so make sure yep perfect nice and tight just like the original so that's good to go we will yeah that's exactly the same nice so we'll leave that there i don't throw anything out until i'm finished finished i um, mean packed up car started and been driven for a bit so we'll leave that up there that's ready to go uh spare i will leave here um the old one uh, what i normally do is perfect yep um, and that oils it as well that way you get a bit of you don't need a lot a bit of oil there um, I'm not going to pre I might pre-fill it a little bit but not a lot I've, I've blown it out there's nothing that I can feel in there that's I've shaken it and everything there's nothing there um, so I think we're all good um, pre-filling is okay if you're not going to drop half the oil out and that ain't happening on this one because I've got oil all over the camera and everything. Actually, there's a bit of... There you go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it, it goes on like that. So if I pre-fill it and then go like that, by the time I finish screwing it on, it's just, you're going to lose it all. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to take it easy. Um, I'll put a little bit in, enough to fill it up to the threads kind of thing. We can do that. Actually, that's the thing with these K&Ns. They try and help you out by putting this so you can undo it. But you can't stand it up. Oh, you can stand it up, but it's not going to stand up with the oil in it. So we'll do that when we're ready. Um, we can throw that out. Actually, what we'll do is we'll keep keep the new one and the old one in there, and be much harder to lose that packet. Put that up there. All right. Um, it's pretty much finished dripping, so I'm going to go and put the um, the sucker in. We'll bring this new one down with us. Um, that can go in the bin and then um, yeah see that's finished dripping kind of but I can work around that I'll put the new filter there the new drain plug there and the suckers over there oh, I'll get a rag out the way as I can kind of like that and now let's see what we get out of this it's be interesting probably make sure it's clean and not got any um, sand on it no, I've, I've cleaned the driveway just before I did this I've got the blower out um, for that reason otherwise you wouldn't want to go putting uh, you know like sand on this and put it in there and same with that you don't want to like that to roll over and get sand in it um, which is kind of what it's going to do there we go and same with the drain plug make sure that's clean you can buy magnetic drain plugs which are handy and then you can just clean them out I don't, I don't think this is no it's not like that. that way any metal filings get attracted to the drain plug and then you can clean it out so that might be on the shopping list. All right, let's go. Let's see what we get. I reckon 800 mil. I don't. I don't think so. That drain plug's almost at the bottom. That's not getting anything. more on the outside than on the inside of the pot. Um, I'm almost tempted to wait till this has stopped dripping. It might take a while. It kind of needs a weight on it, I think. I think it's just in the air. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, what's going on? What is, something happened there. Ah, oh, it's working. Yep, I can see it. Oh, there it goes. Turn it around. There we go. It's definitely not 800 mil in it. Um, I'll see what attachments I've got. And um, it just needs something to drag the tip down into the into the sump. But yeah, you can see there, it's got up maybe 100 mil or something. It's better than nothing. The more you can get out, the better it is. Let's see what I've got. Now nah, the little the little attachments I've got are too big. They won't fit through the through the um, through the hole here. So not much I can do. You can't really bend this hose. That's that's its natural kind of bend. Plus you don't want to put anything on there and then take it out and it gets stuck in there. But that'll be that'll ruin your day. There it goes. A bit more. I think that's, that's as good as we're going to get. Just by feeding it in and just washing it. That's a fair bit though. There you go. I can actually hear it blowing bubbles. So I think that's um I think we'll call that a success. Um yeah, that's that's good enough. Alright, so we'll clean that up. I'll clean that up later with the greaser and everything, but all good and then and, um, let's get back on the bench, we're done under here, kind of and take the drain that out later. Um so that's done with, I'll push, push that, they should not go too far. That, and the other one's up upstairs. Alright, oil filter. I'll give it a... Again, make sure you don't have sand and stuff on your rag. I'll give it a bit of a... Spruce up on the inside. Just uh, the main thing is the um, the mating surface. So that the one, the most important thing is that the new filter has a rubber seal, and the old rubber seal is not on here. Um, ask me how I know that. So yeah, I, I did see the um, I, I saw the old rubber seal on the old filter. So we're all good. So we'll put this one on. And normally everyone says hand tight, but hand tight with clean hands and hand tight with oily hands and an oil filter aren't the same thing. Um, and I don't know. Um, actually, I could use my torque wrench. I should have sussed out what. Um, yeah. I think I will because there was a talk I think it's 18 Newton meters um, I don't think it's actually going to get in there you know there's not a lot of space yeah so what I'll do is I'll use my highly tuned my highly tuned um, let's go this way that's it you don't want to do it too tight but you don't want to do it too loose either because if you do it too tight, you'll squash that rubber. There we go, that's nice. Let's see, I could just turn it with my hand to undo it. So I think we're good there. I might just give it one more little nip up. That's it, done. 
and then same deal so even though it's, an, it's a plastic oil pan uh, it's got like a copper or brass ceiling surface um, so yeah make sure that's clean make sure that's clean yep all good and then it says here 30 to 37 so we'll set a where is it? Yeah. We'll set this. Uh, make sure you're on Newton meters. And we'll set it to 35. Just in the guts. Fifty. It's too much. It's a bit hard to see under here. Um, where are we? Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, oh there's 34, so we'll go one more, 35, there, lock her up, oh, yeah, you can see the washer starting to squash down, Resistance. There we go. Happy with that. That's good. One more little final, final wipe down. That way, if something happens, you can come back later and see where the oil leak is. If you've got oil absolutely everywhere, and then you see an oil drip on your driveway come under here and there's just oil everywhere you don't know where it's come from so um, the main place it's gonna is if you over tighten the oil filter you've got a, a, you've ripped the rubber seal um, and same with the drain plug but we're confident that is sealed nicely yeah um, so all good and oil filters clean and tight drain plugs clean and tight um, so I'll go around now um, Actually, we'll put we'll go upstairs and put the oil in before we put this cover on. So that's that's how much oil came out of the pan after we sucked it out. So worth doing. Takes five minutes, not even. And the old oil is in here. And um, that Newlon thing that I sent away for, that's on its way. I, I dare say I'll get it next week. So this, this oil is going to have to stay in here till then. And I don't want to contaminate it. Because uh, what I normally do is use degreaser to wash all this down. But if I do that, degreaser is going to go in here and then give us false results on the oil report. So um, yeah, I'll just leave it laying flat as is, give it just a nice clean up so we can get oil everywhere. Oh, probably should have emptied this in here. There we go. So, definitely let me get a torch. I don't think it looks sparkly, which is good. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely got sparkles in it, but uh, like not massive chunks. It's, it's yeah, you, I, you guys aren't going to see it, but I can see it. But that's cool. It's nothing really to worry about. That's that's why we're changing the oil. Um, it's not like sand grain trunks or anything it's it's minute it looks like a cloud that's it. so it's not you got to expect that from a new new motor that it's going to be losing a few things um, that, and that's why you want to change it you don't want to leave it till 10,000 k's like what they say no way And then 
I'll just get the greaser and I'll clean I'll clean all this out with the greaser and then it can dry up and go back in the toolbox and live to live to fight another day. So I'll go and put that away. Okay, apparently this takes uh, five. So there's six liters in here, and this takes 5.3. So we want to leave kind of half a liter in, and then we'll figure out how much our oil actually came out. Probably only put five liters in actually. Yeah, I'll put five liters in because I, I don't know how much is in there. So come and have a look this way. got the funnel on. Uh, I didn't use the stick, the stick bit to bring it out. That'll probably be handy if you've got a four-wheel drive that's quite high and you can't reach. You can bring it a bit closer but for this we'll be right. So fill it up and just make sure it's not coming out. Only because it's the first time I've used it, I don't know how good it feels. But you don't want to go through too much in and. Alright, so we've got five litres in there, I think. Yep, five litres. I'll put a bit more. Um, no, I won't. I'll start her up first.
you can't really check it because it's not level. But we can just make sure that there's oil in the sump. Really, you know, I'm not really checking for level right now. Got to get the car back on the ground. Start her up again. Probably because it's not not level. So I think we'll get it down. I think that's the safest way. It's probably right at the back of the Now I'm going to put it down. There's too much in there. You see? Definitely went in there. There's no oil on, on top of the engine. back on the ground, put the tools away, and then we'll check her again. Okay. Easy enough to get down. And hopefully we've got oil in here now. Yep, that looks good. Yeah, it's only halfway. So we got we got a fair bit of oil out because I'm I'm almost bingo on oil. That's maybe got 200 mils left. So I think we'll just chuck it in. I think you do need a weight though. I remember reading somewhere that you do need a weight. So I might just um, have a look at the book. I think you got to wait 10 minutes or something for it to drain back. So let's give it a while. What I will do is uh, reset. Need the keys. Let's see if we can figure out how to reset this. Um... Oh, I don't think you have to have the car running. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I think you go. No, you do. Okay. Uh, there's no dis there's no um, warnings on the dash to sh to say that uh, um, you know you're low on oil or whatever. So I'm I'm pretty certain it's going to have it'll come up and tell you that. Uh, how do I do this? sound? Nope, not that. Bear with me. Settings. The maintenance. So service we've just done. Um, can 
confirm reset, yes. Oh yeah, cool. Oh. Oh, okay, so there, it just defaults to... Why? Okay, just, oh, okay, so it's giving you a five, five kilometer buffer. So that's cool. So that's what we're going to do at 10,000, 10,000 um, increments anyway. So there's our new thing there. Uh, air filter. 6,000 kilometers. We will do that. Remind at 10, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that at 10,000 kilometers, remind us. Um, actually, no, the air, the air filter should last more than 10,000 kilometers. Should get at least 20 out of that. So we'll do that at the 20. Uh, tires. Remind at um, probably 20,000 as well. And we'll just have a look at them. I suppose a warning would pop up. And other 8,000 kilometers. What can we make that other? Um, probably nothing. We'll just do that at 10. So it really gives us a good reminder at 10,000 kilometers um, to, to do that. And that's it. That's all we, sh all we need to do. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to have to wait another 10 minutes <laughs> for, for the oil to drain back. Um, but the car, the car is where it, where it lives now. So it was hanging out before I couldn't put the door down. Um, so even if I need more oil, I can just take this car and not drive this car and put another a liter in if it needs it. I, I, I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think we just need to wait for it to drain back. Um, I'm going to quickly read the book and I'll get back to you. Okay, yeah, it does say uh, you got to get the up to operating temperature, which is pretty much what we got to, and then wait at least 15 minutes for the engine oil to drain back. So, um, yeah, don't be don't be alarmed if you think you got no oil in the car. Uh, you got to wait 15 minutes for it to show up. So um, I'll give it another 10. It's already been a little while. I'll give it another 10, and then we'll check it again from there. Okay, it's been what's the time? Yep, yeah, 15. Close enough. More than 10 anyway. And we have got, oh, it's perfect actually. You can't see it, but it, it's it's just covering the, the drill hole. Just see it there. So, bang on. Happy with that. So, um, that won't be the last time I'll check it now. Um, it's going to sit uh, probably over the weekend I'll drive it. Um, check it before you drive. Um, when you reverse it out, make sure there's not a puddle of oil underneath the car. Um, check if there is, check your drain plug, check your oil filter. I've double, triple checked them, so I'm pretty confident they're okay. But you don't know, you might have split the seam on the um, oil filter. So, um, yeah, it w it'll be a couple days sitting here now, and um, and then we'll get, we'll just give it another check. And then I'll probably, depending where I'm going, but if it's going to be a big drive, I'll, um, I'll be bringing a rag with me. Just a clean rag or a tissue, whatever, napkin. Go past McDonald's and buy a 30 cent cone, get a napkin. Get, and um, just give it another check halfway through the drive just so you're happy because it'd be a shame to lose a motor because you didn't check the or engine oil. Um, so yeah. So definitely want to double check, triple check things. So I will leave this rag here actually. Uh, just leave it up here out of the way. Um, give it another check before we drive, like I said, during the drive, just to make sure and then probably one more a week after that. If it's not losing oil and it's at the correct level, happy days until the next one or every few months, give it a check, a couple of months. I, I, I normally check mine at least once a month. Um, so yeah, dipstick all the way in, this one all the way tight. Um, I'm not checking brake fluid, but you should check brake fluid, power steering, coolant, you can check all that. Um, I'm not because it's only done 3000 Ks and it was only at the dealer 2000 2,000 k's ago, uh, no, less, it, one and a half thousand, it's done 2,600 k's and it went to the dealer at a thousand, so it's only, it was only at the dealer 1,600 k's ago, um, so yeah, all good, I don't use the windscreen wiper fluid, but that's a good time to, to
top that up. I don't use it because otherwise it goes all over the car and the car's dirty then. Um, what else can you check? That's about it. Not a lot to do on these. Um, you can't really check your battery unless it's got one of those little windows, but again, brand new battery. Brakes work fine, so we're all good. So, we'll leave it at that. So, cheers for the help. Um, I'm gonna go and have lunch now because I'm pretty hungry, but that was a easy morning's work and I didn't rush it and I was filming, but you could easily, if you had the party, you could knock that out in half an hour, it's pretty easy. Um, it, the longest thing is the 17 bloody bolts to undo for that stupid tray. Um, I think what might be happening on the next time I do that is I'm going to get my angle grinder out. Obviously don't do it on the car, but kind of suss out where it is. And I'm just going to cut a little a little um, thing out. Maybe put some hinges on it and a lock. Plastic hinges and a, and a plastic lock somehow. I'll figure out something. Um, and then that way you don't have to go and drop all those 17 bolts. You just unlock, unlatch it. And you've got access, the, the plug and the oil filter is like 300, not even 300 mil apart, maybe 200 mil. So you'd only have to cut a little tiny access hole, drop that access, drop that panel out, and you've got access to those two things. That that would have made more sense to do. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Um, um, especially in the interest of saving time, if you're going to a dealer, it, it takes longer to undo those 17 bolts and put them all back than it does to do the oil change. It's ridiculous. So that might be getting modified, so we'll see. Um, yeah, cheers for the help. Alfie's come to see what everything's about. Go, yeah, mate, I'll do a good job. Can you see any oil? Can't smell anything, all good? Should train him to sniff out oil, that'd be pretty cool. Alfie, where's your bowl? Oh no, he's, he, new trick, I don't know, he's just picked it up, he won't do it because I've already put him up on the, no, they're not, they're gone, mate. Yeah, his bowl's up here, I think. But you tell him to go get his bowl, and he'll he'll go out to the backyard and go and get it. It's pretty well, wherever he's taking it to. He's he's looking for it now. It's okay, mate. I've got him. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'll show you next time. Next time he's got the bowl out. Um, yeah, I'm babbling. Catch you later. Uh, hopefully we don't find oil underneath it. Hopefully it's got oil in it in the next few days. We'll see. And um, two and a half thousand k's. It's done. Two thousand six hundred. So we'll see it again at 10,000 k's. So seven and a half thousand k's. And um, yeah, not even seven, four, something like that. I think if my maths is right, my brain's fried at the moment. Um, so that oil, that oil and filter is only gonna do another 7,000 k's. Then we'll put the big GDR filter in, same oil again. Well, not that same oil, that oil's coming out. New oil, but new long Apex, six liters. Um, we'll put that in and then that, that'll be in for 10,000 k's then. Uh, depending, so what I'm going to do is get the oil anal analysis done on this oil um, that I've just taken out. So mix, when I get my little sample pot that they send me, I'll mix that up. So make sure it's got everything in there. Give them a sample, send that off. At 10,000, I'll do another one. And then depending on the results of that one, will depend whether we do a 7,000 or a 10,000 change. And we'll go from there. That's the safest way to do it. If there's um, particulates in the oil or anything that... Um, comes back and they say that yeah you, you should do it I might may even do it at 5,000 I'm not sure yet um, but until we get an oil sample that is stable pr you probably want two stable oil samples that don't show any aluminium um, there's another one I can't remember but any type of metals in the oil um, once you get two of them then you can start stretching it to the 10,000 10,000 or one year that's that's what I'm gonna go by. Um, so yeah, all good. Anyways, catch us later. Have a good one.